we get to unpack the divorced spouse benefit. There are a lot of similarities in terms of uh, benefit amounts and claiming ages between the spousal benefit and the divorce spouse benefit, although there are some differences. So we, we want to talk a little bit about what the simil similarities are as well as what some of the uh, differences are. So what are the similarities of the spousal and divorce spouse benefits? The benefit percentage amounts are identical and they max out at 50%. And this is of the ex-spouses workers record. And the percentages of reduction if taken before full retirement age are also identical between both types of benefits. And there are no credits for delaying beyond full retirement age. It maxes out at 50%. Similar to the, the way that the survivor benefit works, if someone is receiving a divorced spouse benefit and that ex-spouse passes away and they're still unmarried, they can get 100% of the primary insurance amount or the full retirement age amount. Although there are some differences as it relates to the spousal and the divorced spouse benefit. One is that the ex-spouse upon which the benefit is based does not have to have activated their benefit yet. As long as they are 62, the ex-spouse, the uh, individual can activate the divorced spouse benefit. There are some other qualifications that re are required in order to activate a divorced spouse benefit and to qualify for one, one is that that marriage uh, has to have lasted 10 years or longer and the individual who wants to utilize the divorce spouse benefit has to be unmarried. So once they remarry then they're no longer eligible for the divorced spouse benefit. And the age requirement as mentioned before both spouses need to be at least age 62 in order to start that benefit. Well, what's our example in this case? Ward and June divorce after Beaver was caught shoplifting at Kmart. And the circumstances are that June is 62 and unmarried, so she meets the age requirement and the marital status requirement. We meet the marriage requirement of 10 years or more and we meet the requirement that Ward is at least age 62 in this case he's 65 and he hasn't activated his benefit and in this case it doesn't matter that he hasn't activated his benefit so June goes into the Social Security office she has to provide information about marriage and divorce and Ward has no idea they don't actually even inform him. And some would say that Ward really never had an idea of what was going on in the program. So that covers our divorced spouse benefit and how it works, how it's qualified for. You'll see that it's very different in some cases from the spousal benefit, but very much the same in terms of the percentages and the early claiming reductions. Thank you.